Hi, welcome to my Animator Data Studio plugin tutorial. The first thing you'll want before we begin is to make sure that you have the right software in order to follow along. You're going to need a copy of Data Studio, and if we check, we'll see that I'm currently using version 2.3.3.146. Now, you may be using a slightly newer or a slightly older version of Data Studio, and that's probably okay. Just keep in mind, however, that different versions of Data Studio will have different levels of capability and compatibility with plugins like Animator. The next thing we'll want to check is that you have the Animator plugin loaded into Data Studio. You can do this by going to Help, clicking About Installed Plugins, and make sure that you see Animator in your list of installed plugins. Its status should be loaded, and you're going to want to make sure that your version is at least 2.0. 2.0 was released just recently, and it adds a couple of new features, such as copying and pasting of keyframes, and some additional enhancements for compatibility with other plugins, such as Animate and Puppeteer. We'll be going over a lot of those features later on in the tutorial, so you'll want to make sure that your version is up to speed. The last thing I want to mention before we get started is that if you go to the Animator DAS Studio plugin page on DAS3D.com, and click Product Documentation Wiki, you'll find that the Animator Reference Manual is available to both owners and non-owners alike. If you currently own the plugin, but have not yet referenced the manual, it's highly recommended that you do so, as it'll give you an excellent getting started overview of the features, including the timeline control, the keyframe editor, the layer editor, the graph view, and some custom movie generation options that aren't available with DAS Studio out of the box. Now I'll be going over a lot of these features in some detail. However, this tutorial is not meant to be a replacement for the manual. If you haven't yet bought the Animator plugin, this manual is a great place to start to answer some of your questions about what the capabilities are of Animator and whether or not purchasing Animator is a smart move. Okay. With all the introductory out of the way, let's get started.